My uh, lithium phosphate batteries arrived from um, China. They got stuck in customs for a couple of weeks. And my BMS has arrived too. So I'm going to open this up and um, put together a basic battery for my boat. I live on a lifeboat. Um, so currently, um, the, my large lead acid batteries died, I think, last year uh, while we were in Romania. Over winter, the solar charge controller failed and killed them. Um, so um, we've been running on a single old starter battery, the whole boat on the leisure side. So we've had no power in the evening, just lights and a little bit of phone charging in the evening and um, water pump, etc. In the daytime, we've got power from our solar panels. Um, so now, actually, I decided after this technology matured that I'd have a go at building one. Let's get the bus bars. Okay, they're very well packed, lots of foam, and the batteries are in nice, nice boxes. And we've got four of them. Up. Each of the batteries is 100 amp hours at 3.2 volts, which when we put them together should make a 12.8 volt battery, which is basically a drop-in dead acid replacement. Yeah, box, very nice packaging, I like it. Very solid batteries. I'm going to get this stuff off. Right, uh, as you can see, it's a new battery, nicely made. Solid construction, very small. Um, it's got nice covers over the positive and negative, a safety valve. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm going to open four of these. Bus bars. Okay, it's nice. Comes with battery covers. It's good. And the bus bars are nice, quite solid. Very solid, actually. Good bus bars. And it's that stainless steel A270. I assume that's stainless steel and it comes with Loctite. Washers, so everything I need. Excellent! So, we've got um, the 80 amp uh, balance charge, um, BMS, battery management system, common port with pretty nice cables and um, the balancing lead. Uh, we've got the tips for the balancing lead, I've tried these myself, it came with the nuts and washers, we've got these nice battery covers, as useful. The bus buyers are pretty thick with lots of different layers, so they think they can handle lots of amps, I think. So that's good. Uh, the batteries are very solidly made. Nothing's going to break those, and uh, I'm now going to check the voltages on each of the batteries to make sure they're kind of matched cells. So, let's have a look. The first one, the positive onto the positive, negative onto the negative. First one is 327. Second one, 326. Hmm. Bit of a pain. 327, 327. So this one's 326. Hmm. 326, okay. 327, okay. So, 327, 326, 327, 327. So that one actually is a slightly different state of charge to the rest. Probably close enough, but well, so I need to balance these somehow. Well, we've got a balancer, let's do it. So, um, I have uh, built up the uh, balance charging cable. I've just put a little lug on the end, which fits on the bolt. But they're quite small wires, so they don't need a lot of ampage. Just use the basic crimping tool. Pretty easy to do DIY. Just check they're all on. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, all good connections. Right. 
that then plugs into there when the battery is ready to go. Balancing is important. If you buy from a good supplier, the battery should arrive as a balanced set. Mine did. Decided the voltage state of charge was close enough that the BMS could balance the batteries over a few months of use. So no need to do more. The final problem, the battery bolt was bigger than the lug on the BMS. As I'm only using this for low current draw out drawers, 30 to 40 amps max, I just drilled the lug out one size to fit the bolt. Don't do this for high current uses. I've ordered a BSF BMS upgrade, um, one with Bluetooth and high low temp sensor, but it's not waterproof. The original simple BMS, which actually is waterproof, is being moved to a second small aluminum clad LiPo4 battery, uh, which we're buying to um, power our electric outboard on the tender, so it needs to be portable and lighter. How to buy batteries. Everything is a lie on the internet. So be careful to buy from a reputable supplier. How to find these in the edge places where cheap batteries come from is a hard thing to explain. On AliExpress, look for the number sold. If it's low or zero, avoid. Look at the company feedback. If it's low, avoid. Read the reviews. How many seem real and how many seem fake? Don't buy from the ones with the majority fake. Look for reputable YouTubers reviewing content. The problem with this last one is the price soon goes up after a good review, but still might be worth paying this. Part two is about how to build and box up the battery for use.